Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we are going to be taking a look <laughs> at the, well, the first video review of the year. And this time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations uh, Legacy, uh, Speedy 500 Velocitron, uh, Voyager Class, Road Hauler. Looks amazing, looks fantastic. As you can see, this Ultra Mode is a is a crane, uh, utilitarian crane. He is a repaint and a retool of Grapple and Inferno from Earthrise and Kingdom, respectively. And looks pretty good. Looks pretty damn awesome. I'll say that. Holy, holy, holy shit. So um, he uh, probably goes mostly for Road Hauler is. Lime green, lime green, sorry, uh, hazard stripes, black, silver, has an Autobot symbol on the front, translucent blue on the windshield, that's really bad for colors. He comes with the same accessories as Inferno and Grapple, comes with the gun, comes with the, the little, uh, nozzle here and it comes with this um, this claw weapon here uh, which you can pop off looks pretty solid uh, <coughs> so apparently I think he's in G2 I'm pretty sure of it um, to my knowledge I could be wrong but that's as far as I know backstory wise uh, I'll put an annotation somewhere or a note somewhere saying, oh, he was in this universe at this, you know, he was uh, basically, long story short, he was um, here at this time of year, at this part of the country, localized entirely within the kitchen. So, there you go. Although, Road Hauler looks pretty good, looks amazing. What more can I say? It looks pretty damn awesome. The transformation to his robot mode is exactly the same as, oh, before I get to that, the crane rotates full 360, can rise, can fall, can push in, can push out, that's about it. To transform him is exactly the same as before, with a uh, road hauler, and, um, and uh, to, well, with grapple and um, inferno. So um, yes, so the uh, transformation is exactly the, you know I'm not going to go too much far into the transformation. But if you want to know how to to bloody transform it, by all means, go take a look at the review of grapple and inferno respectively. Thank you. So we 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 spun the arms like this. <laughs> yeah, we're actually. You know, do them forward and then just get the arms. Ow! Rotate it like that. Then do that. So there we go. And then. <coughs> and then the. <laughs> this is the funky part of the transformation. This. Uh, Ow! Ugh. There we go, push it in. Oh yeah, gotta make certain beforehand to uh, flip the head around. <laughs> like this. And then just um, lock that, lock that into the place. And then just yeah, I get that. Although with Road Hauler, his his head little kebabble likes to stay into the place as it should. You just gotta push it forward a little bit. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but there you go. Get him situated, and there you go. There you have Road Hauler in his robot mode, and it looks amazing. The articulation-wise is exactly the same as before, with 
um, Grapple and Inferno, so I'm not really going to go too much into detail on the transformation, but yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. But, take a look at the head. He looks, um, what the, what the hell is wrong? He's screaming. It's like he's screaming. He's like, charge, or he's terrified of something, or maybe he's gritting his teeth. Maybe he's, they're not painted. I don't know. Anywho, he's, um, <coughs> maybe the half engine. He saw, yeah. Roadhauler saw the half engine, and he's gonna, and, and, he, and yeah, the end. <laughs> anyway. So, in terms of the accessories, again, much like <coughs> Grapple and Inferno, you can store them anywhere or just plug them wherever need be. So, we'll just um, <coughs> attach the back end to the bonnet, like so. So yeah, that's just pretty much how I do things with Road Hauler in terms of store storage. I mean, because I think he's a wild Autobot to my knowledge, like wild personality-wise, just like a, you know, <laughs> all guns a-blazing and such. So anyways, all in all, I recommend getting Road Hauler. He looks pretty cool. And if you do have, oh, excuse me, if you were able to get Grapple and Inferno, absolutely, you should definitely reach for the heavens and get this guy. He looks amazing. The transformation is super amazing. Um, vehicle mode looks great. Robot mode looks incredible. I like the fact it comes with the same accessories and the fact they added the claw weapon, which is nice. Um, I really think that we are going to get the protective bots and that Hotspot is going to have this mold as the main component. Maybe like an upscale commander class, but you never know. So all in all, Highly recommend purchasing guys if you can find them. Won't be just one by this guy. Won't be less incredible to say the least. And looks really, really, truly awesome to say the least once again. So, <clears throat> anyways, guys, this is my video review of the Trust Wars Generations Legacy Speeder 500 Velocitron Voyager Class Road Hauler. I'll see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible with the next video. And yes, so take care, everyone. See you soon. Have a good day. I shall catch you all later. Bye bye.